What's happening friends, Don here with TroTech Laser Hacks. Today we're gonna to look at some tips and tricks focused on improving your laser skills. Let's get started. Today we've got a great hack that will dramatically improve your efficiency when processing thin line digital vector graphics. Generally, when we engrave objects, we use a method called raster engraving. A raster engraving is created by the laser scanning your workpiece very much like a printer does, filling the area to be engraved line by line. Vector engraving, on the other hand, is created more like a line drawing. The laser follows the vector lines and draws them as a single line. In this example, we use a raster engraving as it would typically run as our starting point, in order to have a baseline comparison for time and quality. We're going to send this black graphic file to the laser machine, using standard material settings for cherry wood in this example. The standard raster engraving process engraves the graphic by moving the laser head back and forth like a printer, engraving the image into the surface and replicating what was in the design file. The drawback with raster engraving this type of file is that it's time consuming. In this case, it took us 3 minutes and 9 seconds to complete this engraving on a 4 inch diameter circle of cherry wood. However, by converting the black lines into hairline vector lines in CorelDRAW or 0.01 inch vector lines in Adobe Illustrator and adjusting the settings to vector the lines as if we were going to cut them, we obtain a much faster result. In this case, we're not doing a full cut, but a kiss cut, meaning we're going to be using a lot less power on the cut line. For this example, the total time was only 19 seconds, much faster than our 3 minutes and 9 seconds on the raster engraving. The only problem is, using this vector cut method, our lines are now much thinner. Now here's the hack. Let's take the laser out of focus by 80 thousandths of an inch. More precisely, we've set the Z offset and job control to negative 0.08 inches. What ends up happening is the beam width becomes larger when cutting the vector lines, resulting in thicker etched lines. The lines are the same thickness as in our original raster engraving, but with the speed of vector cutting. The further the laser is out of focus, the thicker the laser beam will become. You can use laser lens sizes like a 4 inch lens for an even thicker beam diameter. Just remember, if you go out of focus by too much, the engraving lines become blurry. This is why we recommend testing the Z offset to get the best results. Here are the three processes side by side. The raster engraving at 3 minutes and 9 seconds, the vector cut in focus at 19 seconds, and the vector cut out of focus also at 19 seconds, but with the thicker lines. This hack will work on most materials, providing that the graphic will allow for it. Here's the same demonstration on tanned rawhide leather. And here are the same results on Trolley's engraving plastic. Thank you so much for watching, and a huge thanks to Dave Stevens and our friends at Trotec Laser USA. You can find a link to them in the description below. Stay tuned for more hacks in the future.